Hello students, today we shall be seeing the solutions of zoology of AIATS which was held on 13th of October 2019. So let's move on to the questions. Question number 136. The question says the columnar cells of dash have microvilli which increase the surface area for absorption. Select the option which fills the blank correctly. So let's look at the options. Option number 1 is proximal convoluted tubule. The proximal convoluted tubule or the PCT is lined by microvilli and epithelium here is cuboidal. So the epithelium which is present in proximal convoluted tubule is cuboidal brush bordered epithelium or cuboidal epithelium which has microvilli. So this is a wrong option. Option number 2 small intestine. The small intestine contains columnar epithelium which contains microvilli. Now these microvilli they increase the area of absorption in the small intestine. So we have small intestine which has columnar epithelium and which has microvilli. So this intestinal mucosa bearing microvilli is called brush bordered epithelium. Option 3 fallopian tube. The epithelium present in fallopian tube is columnar ciliated epithelium. So the epithelium is columnar but it does not have microvilli rather it has cilia. So the epithelium becomes columnar ciliated. Let's look at the fourth option, smaller bronchioles. Now here, the smaller bronchioles, the epithelium is cuboidal and ciliated. So we will rule out proximal convoluted tubule and smaller bronchioles because here cuboidal cells are present. Columnar cells are present in small intestine and also in fallopian tube. But in fallopian tube, the epithelium is ciliated. Therefore, answer becomes option number 2. So, the answer becomes option number 2. Moving on to the next question. Question number 137. The question says, which of the following is a secretion of unicellular gland? Options are saliva, sweat, growth hormone and mucus. We know that the unicellular glands are the glands which have single isolated cells. Mucus is secreted by goblet cells. Goblet cell is an example of unicellular gland. Over here we see in the diagram that this gland is the unicellular gland. Whereas over here we see that this kind of gland is a multicellular gland. In this case we know that goblet cell which secretes mucus is an example of unicellular gland whereas here sweat which is secreted by sweat or sudoriferous glands is a multicellular gland. Similarly saliva which is secreted by salivary glands is a multicellular gland. Also growth hormone which is secreted by the anterior pituitary. The anterior pituitary gland which secretes the growth hormone is also a multicellular gland. Therefore, a secretion of unicellular glands over here is mucus. So, the answer in this case becomes option number 4. Moving on to the next question. Question number 1. 38. Solid and pliable connective tissue characterized by lacunae which lacks canaliculi is. Now we know that there are types of connective tissues which are specialized connective tissues that is cartilage and bone and they both contain lacunae. The lacunae contain mature cells as we can see here in the diagram. In case of cartilage the lacunae contains chondrocyte which is the mature cell of the cartilage. Over here also this as we see is a diagram depicting matrix of bone. So here we see that lacunae are present and the lacunae contain 
osteocyte but these lacunae also possess small canal like structures which are called canaliculi in options 3 and 4 that is adipose and areolar tissue they are loose connective tissues and do not contain lacunae therefore in this case the solid and pliable connective tissue so the answer becomes 1 that is cartilage moving on to the next question question number 139 choose the incorrect statement with respect to endothelium option number 1 a single thin layer of flattened cells with irregular boundaries this is a true statement as we can see in the diagram over here that endothelium is a single layer this single layer consists of very thin flat cells which are arranged in the form of tiles therefore this kind of epithelium is also called pavement epithelium let's look at option number 2 cells are tightly packed with little intercellular matrix yes this also is an absolutely correct statement as we can see here these cells are tightly packed with each other without any intercellular space option number 3 it rests on a non cellular basement membrane all the kind of epithelial cells they rest on a non cellular basement membrane so this option is also correct let's look at the fourth option the cells have abundant blood supply and are highly vascular now we know that the epithelial cells are avascular the blood supply is present only in the connective tissue underlying the epithelium the endothelium can be found in the innermost wall of blood vessels or it can also be found in alveoli of lungs where it helps in exchange of gases so our answer in this case becomes option number 4 that endothelium is highly vascular because it is devoid of blood supply moving on to the next question question number 140 which of the following is not present in blood now blood is a fluid connective tissue blood consists of mainly two things that is plasma and formed elements so over here let's look at the options matrix the matrix in case of blood is fluid basophils are a type of granulocytes which are a type of leukocytes so are basophils present in blood yes basophils are present in blood option number 3 is collagen fibers a feature of blood is that it is made up of fluid fiber free matrix that is the matrix does not contain any fiber collagen fibers are not present are proteins present in blood yes proteins are the ones which are mostly present in the plasma the proteins contribute to the viscosity of blood so proteins are present in the plasma so over here a component which is not present in blood is collagen fiber so the answer becomes option number 3 let's see the next question 